case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. A multi-million dollar house mistakenly built on land intended to be a public park sparked a complex legal battle in 2014. At the heart of the case, known as Rose Nullman Park Foundation XRL Nullman V420 Corp., lay a simple principle. If you continuously trespass on another's property, a court will typically demand that you cease and desist, barring special circumstances that might tip the scales otherwise. The defendants, Robert C. Lamoureux and his company 420 Corp., had erroneously constructed a house worth $1.8 million on property belonging to the plaintiff, the Rose Nullman Park Foundation. Intended to serve as a communal green space for the community, the plaintiff took the case to the court system, seeking justice. In the first trial, the court sided with the plaintiff. The defendants were ordered to entirely eradicate the house from the foundation's premises. However, unwilling to back down and bear the financial burden, the defendants mounted an appeal. They insisted that the extreme cost of dismantling the residence far outweighed the benefits the plaintiff would reap from its removal. The Supreme Court of Rhode Island, however, saw things differently. Upholding the original ruling, the court declared that the defendants were indeed liable for trespassing and mandated the removal of the built structures from the plaintiff's land. The argument surrounding the prohibitive costs associated with the structure's removal was rejected outright. In supporting the earlier verdict, the Supreme Court underlined the necessity of the defendant's compliance within a reasonable timeline. The court remained firm on the point that the Rose Nullman Park Foundation's desire for a community-driven park held a greater weight of validity than the defendant's appeal based on potential financial hardship. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.